Hello guys, welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I will show you the working of the mode lamp. So here we have our mode lamp in our 3D printed case, which has the NeoPixel LEDs here and other circuitry is inside this box. You can also see the LDR over here and if you can just slide this up, you should be able to see the circuits, which is a HC05 Bluetooth module and Arduino Pro Mini and we also have a DS3231 RTC module behind it so now let me power it and show you how it works so the options available here is it it shows a different set of colors based on the day and not based on the day based on the time and it only turns on when the brightness of the room is dim enough and you can also set alarms from a bluetooth module using the bluetooth module from an android phone or any phone for that matter now let me go ahead and power this on so it's powered on now and you can see i'm not sure if you can see the colors properly but it is glowing in different colors it has stopped now because the room's brightness is very high now if i cover it you can see that it's glowing in different colors it's pink, red, yellow and green. So now let me go ahead and control the colors from the mobile. You can use any Bluetooth terminal app. The one that I'm using here is called Bluetooth terminal itself. Let me open it always with your phone before you do this. The password by default will be 1234. Now connect your device, HC05, and it should say connected. So once it's connected, you can send any random character for the first time, and then you will get a reply from the module saying you can either set alarm or control the lamp or exit from the setup. Now let me show you how to control the lamp. I press 1 and we get the control options in which you can select the color required now it's randomly glowing at some colors let me select uh, blue so that's five let me click send as soon as i send it it changes to blue color here let's try some other color let's try red so it's zero for red and i click send and it changes to red color similar to this you can select any color you want and you can leave it as such and the lamp will be in that particular color or you can just press the x button you can send the character x and it will exit from that control loop and your lamp will be back into normal operating mode and it says exiting control loop and back to main so that means your lamp will change colors again other than that you can also set the alarm you have two alarm options so as you can see you have to send 0 to set the alarm let me send 0 and you have two options there one is a sleep alarm and the other is a wake up alarm so the sleep alarm will set the lamp into a dim purple color which is very good when you are sleeping in a room so purple color is set to improve your sleep and the wake up alarm is just that it will turn off that purple color and get back to normal color or uh, normal operating mode now let me connect this to a serial monitor and show you how the alarm feature works that way you will be able to understand it much better now we have our setup opened and connected to our laptop through the FTTI cable and the Arduino IDE is open here let me go ahead and open the serial monitor which will give you all the required data of the project so it just gives an introductory text and then it will give you the glowing color, the time at which the module is currently operating, the brightness of the environment, the wake up alarm time, the sleep alarm time and is this lamp in sleep mode or wake up mode. 
So right now the uh, time in the RTZ module is 13:2, which is the real time. If you check the time on my computer, it is also 1:2, which is uh, okay. It's 1:2 p.m. and it's 13:2, which is the railway time. So now we can go ahead and set the alarm. So right now the lamp is operating in normal mode. Let me set the alarm for. Let me close this thing. Open the app. And connect to it. Okay, now it's connected. Let's send a random character. And let's set the alarm. Let's set the sleep alarm. So currently time is 13.03. Let me set it for 13.04. So 13.04. So that's it. So the sleep alarm is set at 13.04. Let's wait for the time to be 13.04. And you can also see that it's updated that the time here is 13.04. You can see the sleep time is 13.04 and the cut time that is the current time is 13.03. So we have to wait till the 13.03 becomes 13.04. Let's wait. Okay, now it's 13.04 and our lamp should get into the sleep mode now. So let's check. Now if you check, the lamp is in sleep mode. It gives a... Uh, dim violet color light which changes its density or the brightness and you can see that if the lamp sleeping it has become one which is for true similarly you can also set the wake up alarm and wake the lamp up so currently the wake up time is set at 6 30 in the morning so obviously we are not going to wait till 6 30 in the morning so let me change it from the phone let us change let's get back the main settings and let's set the wake up alarm now so currently the time is 1 5 which is 13 5 so it should be 13 0 6 so the alarm is set for 13.06 as you can see it should have all also be updated here the wake up time is updated to 13.06 and the lamp is still sleeping because the current time is still 13.05 so let's wait for the time to get changed ok now the time is 13.06 and the lamp should stop, get out of the sleeping mode and it should get into the wake up mode so let's check so the is lamp sleeping has become zero now so that means the lamp should have got into operating mode so is it happening yes it has again started to give you the color changes and the intensity of the color has also increased as you can see is the lamp sleeping it has become zero now so similarly you can set for whichever time you want and you can leave it in your living room and since the alarm time is stored in e prome it should not be a problem even if there was a power failure in between so that's it guys, hope you liked the project, consider subscribing for the channel and thank you again, bye bye.